Well, as I neither live nor breathe, it's you again! Up here in the attic above um, our hotel. And, well, if you're here, it must be Mask Fan Attic time. So let's take another look at an interesting uh, creation from the world of mask art, shall we? Uh, in 2012, a very dark, very creepy movie came out called Sinister. Simply Sinister. Uh, not a great title for a movie, I didn't think, but uh, a lot of people hated the movie with a passion, and I can see why, because it is extremely um, disagreeable, unpleasant, I guess you'd call it. Uh, but it is, it is scary, it is creepy, and uh, you know, if you can creep Dr. Lady out, that's, that's something of an achievement, right there. Uh, and I found it creepy, so yeah, I would have to say, uh, don't show it to your children, for dying out loud. But uh, if you're an adult and you can handle uh, really, really dark uh, material, sinister, pretty scary, pretty, uh, pretty decent. But um, it featured a uh, diabolical entity of supernatural evil called Bagul. Yeah, Bagul or Bagul. Now, according to the internet, where, as we know, nothing can be wrong if it's on the internet. Uh, according to the internet, that would be spelled B-U-G-H-U-U-L. Although, it's, they pronounce it in the movie more like Bagul than Bagul. But I don't know, but that's, that's the only spelling I've got for you. Uh, he is more commonly known by his uh, nickname, which is Mr. Boogie. So, can we, we need to get Bagul off here and put Mr. Boogie. Can we do that? Okay, Mr. Boogie. That's B-O-O-G-I-E for some reason. I guess he likes to uh, dance, you know? Likes to boogie down, this guy, yeah. Or boogie up, I don't know. But um, typically the mask would probably just be referred to as Sinister, even though that's not his name, because it is an image from the movie. Now, I don't know why he looks like this, but this is just what he looks like in the movie. This particular version, unfortunately, only three were made. This particular mask, there are only three in the known universe, created in um, 2013 by an artist named Scott Doring. And I think uh, Mr. Doring's work is fantastic, but he's never satisfied. He kind of hates his own work, and uh, as soon as he made this, he didn't like it and thought it could be done better, and uh, well, like I said, only three exist, so I was uh, lucky to have gotten hold of one. I think it looks great. I, to me, it looks just like what I see ever so briefly and out of focus for the most part in the movie. And I guess that's a little redundant because I already told you the movie came out in uh, 2012, so I guess it should go without saying that you would see the monster out of focus and blurry and grainy and uh, drained of color uh, since the film came out when it did. But in, in their case, you have to give them a little slack because uh, there is a reason uh, in the movie. If you haven't seen it, I won't spoil the uh, plot for you, but uh, this this thing, there is a reason why he, when you see him, he's grainy and blurry. Unlike uh, every other movie from 2012, it was grainy and blurry and out of focus. And uh, we're moving right along. Back to old Bagul here. Fantastic quality. This is a nice, thick latex casting. Uh, he's got a full back with a slit up the back and a full neck so you can tuck this in to uh, your coat and look like either a horrible uh, horrible ghostly entity of demonic evil or a member of Slipknot, one or the other, if you just wear this with a coat. Uh, obviously you're going to have a hard time finding it because there were only three, but there are other versions of this mask that have been done by other artists. I just especially like this one by Mr. Scott Doring. Um, I think the, the proportions are good and the colors are good, this kind of bluish gray. Uh, and this is actually trimmed to wear. I don't know if you can see that. There's a piece of black felt in there, I believe, but uh, he does, does actually have little small eye openings trimmed out back in those eye sockets. So if you put it on, you could actually see out of it. And the nostrils are trimmed out as well. You're not going to be doing much mouth breathing. Uh, in, in any event, if you go as uh, Bagul or Mr. Boogie. But, uh, cool mask, I think. Hmm? Mr. Boogie, a.k.a. Bagul, a.k.a. Sinister. 
a version from Scott Doring, which came out in 2013, about a year after the film. And, well, uh, I'm going to head back d downstairs now. Um, I was having a compu uh, computer problem. A little problem with the laptop. Sometimes it happens, you know. And I need to get back to work on that and see if I can fix it. I really just came up here to get my hammer. <laughs>